Lazy Jack Once upon a time, there was a boy whose name was Jack. Jack lived with his mother. They were very poor, and the old woman made her living by spinning. But Jack was so lazy that he did nothing but lie in the sun in the hot weather in the summer and sit by the fireplace in the winter. So people called him Lazy Jack. His mother could not make him work. At last, one Monday, she said to him, If you don't begin to work for your porridge, I will turn you out of the house. These words made Jack do something. So on Tuesday, he went out and hired himself for a day to a neighboring farmer for a penny. But when he was going home in the evening, he lost the penny. You silly boy, said his mother. You should have put it in your pocket. I'll do so another time, answered Jack. On Wednesday, Jack went out again and hired himself to a cowman. The cowman gave him a jar of milk for his day's work. Jack took the jar of milk and put it into the large pocket of his jacket, but the milk was all spilled long before he got home. Oh, you should have carried it on your head, said the old woman. I'll do so another time, answered Jack. On Thursday, Jack hired himself again to a farmer. In the evening, the farmer gave him a large soft cheese for his work. Jack took the cheese and went home with it on his head. By the time he got home, the cheese was all spoiled. He lost part of it, and part of it was in his hair. You foolish boy, said the mother. You should have carried it very carefully in your hands. I'll do so another time, answered Jack. On Friday, Lazy Jack again went out and hired himself to a baker. The baker gave nothing for his work but a large cat. Jack took the cat and began to carry it very carefully in his hands, but in a short time the cat scratched him so much that he let it go. When he got home, his mother said to him, You silly boy! You should have tied a string to it and dragged it along after you. I'll do so another time, answered Jack. On Saturday, Jack hired himself to a butcher who gave him a shoulder of mutton for his work. Jack took the mutton, tied a string to it and dragged it along after him. By the time he got home, the meat was quite spoiled. This time his mother was very angry, for the next day was Sunday and she had only cabbage for Sunday dinner. You foolish boy, said she to her son, you should have carried it on your shoulder. I'll do so another time, answered Jack. Next Monday, Lazy Jack again went out and hired himself to a cattle keeper who gave him a donkey for his work. Jack put the donkey on his shoulders and began to walk slowly home. Now it happened that on his way home he passed the house of a rich man. The man had an only daughter who was a beautiful girl, but she was deaf and dumb. She had never laughed in her life, and the doctor said she would never speak till somebody made her laugh. This young lady was looking out of the window when Jack was passing with the donkey on his shoulders. The sight was so funny and strange that she burst out laughing, and at once she could hear and speak. The father was so happy that he married his daughter to Lazy Jack, and Jack became a rich gentleman. They lived in a large house and Jack's mother lived with them happily until she died.